Good morning, YouTube. Amy back here again. Wow. Thought I've heard it all. This morning, I was sitting. I don't really watch the news anymore at all. Because I don't want to hear all the bull crap going on. And I damn sure don't want to hear all the brainwashing and all the fake news that they have to go on either. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm getting on my soapbox this morning. Because there's one thing that was said on Good Morning America this morning that really kind of irked me. And that was a political member of the House got sick with COVID-19. Whether that be a Democrat or Republican, I don't remember which one, nor does it matter. And they're blaming people that weren't wearing masks for having the COVID-19. Just how stupid does that sound to ever anybody else? Am I the only one? Because I wouldn't believe so. You know, my husband got sick with the COVID-19 last month. And, of course, I quarantined my daughter and myself and him for two weeks. I went and got the COVID test. Negative. But I think I had it back in February before this pandemic stuff set in and all that kind of stuff. But the COVID was around before last year, too. It was around in 2019 from what I've been hearing and from what I've been understanding. So if it's been around since 2019, but it's just all of a sudden a big deal now that we all have to do quarantine and all this stuff. My question is, kind of like my grandma and my, grandma and my papa have, when they had the Asian and swine flu going on back in the days, how come they didn't quarantine people when they really should have been then? You see, this is all political stuff going on with this right now. This is all to get us under control, all to brainwash us over this stuff so that we believe and so we'll follow in the footsteps and whatever they tell us to do. I'm going to tell you something. The only one I'm going to follow in the footsteps of and the only one I'm going to listen to that needs that we need to do is God. I'm not listening to no news. I'm not listening to no Biden and or Trump, for that matter. I love Trump. I'm a Trump supporter. All day long. I have a lot of respect for a man that when he was running during his first debate and his first election, he stood by everything that he said he was going to do. If the stuff didn't get done, it's because he had other people fighting him that wasn't going to help him pass the stuff on through. See what I mean? I wish there wasn't this Democrat-Republican bullcrap. I wish there wasn't this left, this right, the communist socialist stuff. This isn't what God wants us to do, people. This is not how God wants us to be. I wish some people would understand this. You know, Biden is all about Biden and his family and their side of the political. They don't care to help us all out. They don't care. Because if they cared, they wouldn't be doing this Biden tax law thing that I've been hearing about that's going to be ridiculous. Are you serious? What happened for everyone? What, what happened to loving everyone? What happened to helping everybody out? What happened? Because we dang sure don't have that now. I'm getting fed up with it. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Everybody needs to pull their head out the rear ends. There at the Congress, at the House, the Senate, whatever. Everybody does. And everybody needs to realize that we're here for God, not ourselves. If y'all think for one minute that a mask is going to save us from getting any virus, you're crazy. If we're going to get it, we're going to get it. If it's our time to go, it's our time to go. It's on God's time, not ourselves, not our own. This is getting really annoying on what's going on, what I'm hearing every single day. But it's only going to get worse. People read your Bibles, it's only going to get worse. I have a feeling God is very near to tell Jesus to come get us, to take us home. To get us out of all this stuff. This is ridiculous. We all need to come together as one. As a country. From all over. How God will want us to. And help each other. And encourage each other. Pick each other up, not knock each other down. Not like people because they don't got enough money. Because they're not rich enough. Because they're too poor. Oh, because they don't live in a nice house. I'll tell you, well, I'm not this kind of person that says, I'm not going to have anything to do with anybody that's a Democrat. Or that's a Republican. Yada, yada, yada. I'll tell you, I'm going to say something, though. I'm not going to have anything to do with anybody that wants to be negative anymore. 
that doesn't want to put God first in their lives. They just think of them themselves, like this whole political thing is. Biden isn't going to be there in that office trying to help us all out. He's already proved that already, and he's not even completely all the way in office yet. I can't be the only one that sees this. Right? Selflessness, greed. A lot of it going around, and it's just getting worse. People, again, we're not here for ourselves. And we all need to stop and think for a minute about what we're all doing wrong here. Open our eyes, open our spiritual hearts, our ears, and pray to God and ask him what he wants us to be doing. Like I said in my last video, ask him what he wants us to do. Not worry about what we want to do, because that doesn't matter. You think it does, but it doesn't. A lot more people would feel more at ease and at peace if they would do a lot more praying and figuring out what God wants us to do. Instead of just thinking the ways that we're doing is going to work and it's going to be the best. Because in all actuality, you know that's not, that's not the fact of it. I just wish we all would come together as one, like we're supposed to do, put God back into our country first and keep him there. He should have never been removed in the first place. Take a prayer out of school. Bull crap. Everybody wants to give Trump crap. What happened when Obama was in office and he took away our prayer, National Day of Prayer? That's wrong and people supported that. Why? We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the good Lord above. We would not be here today. So people need to open their eyes. This is stupid. I pray for everybody. Especially the ones in Washington, D.C. That are on the political side of it. Because they're the ones making this all horrible. And some of us civilians are making it horrible too on how we're reacting to stuff. There's another subject I want to talk about, but I'm not going to. Because it's not even worth it. All of us need to get our heads out of our butts. And quit thinking about ourselves. And quit thinking about money, 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 money. Because that's not what matters. You don't go to heaven with it. Worry about your Bible, Bible, Bible. Worry about God, God, God first. God first. God first. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. Let's all come together like we're supposed to. You'd be surprised how much smoother this stuff would go. Don't be scared of a virus. I just don't know what to say anymore. I'm just getting tired of hearing about it all. And I know I'm not the only one. God bless everyone. And I pray for this country and I pray that all y'all come together and pray as well. And just know that just because you don't wear a mask doesn't mean you're going to spread the virus. It's either you have it or you don't. If you have it, stay home. Don't go every, to the store. Don't go everywhere. If you're sick, stay home. Yeah. But if you're not, take your precautions like you have been already. God bless, guys.